Hello, and welcome to another reading from Jet Motors, Mini Cooper Motorsports. Today's reading will be from the Book of Haynes. Today's reading is from chapter nine, the braking system, verse eight, section one. Mini. Seriously, today we're gonna to talk about disc brakes. What we've done here is we've uh, installed a complete disc brake assembly. We build these here in our shop. This is a Cooper-esque disc brake assembly. 7.5 inches is the rotor diameter. Fits inside of all 10 inch wheels. Um, if you really wanna step up to the plate and you wanna go a little crazier than even a stock disc brake uh, for Cooper S, you can go to these. These are four piston alloy calipers on vented and slotted rotors. Now these are 7.9 inches, but they still fit under most 10 inch wheels, almost all alloys, not the stock Cooper S steel wheel. As you can see here, it does fit nicely inside a stock GT wheel and it still clears. Now that's pretty cool. That's some heavy duty braking. I think you can stand the mini on its nose with these. Also, what we've got going on down here is on-car heavy-duty adjustable lower control arms. Tied in with those is on-car heavy-duty adjustable tie rods. While we do these, we always notice the rubber brake lines. Rubber brake lines might look okay on the outside, but what's really happening here is the inside of the brake line has swollen up. Rubber doesn't like age or heat. So we replace all rubber lines with stainless steel braided brake lines all the difference in the world. Gives you a good solid pedal feel, none of that spongy rubber. Um, if you come around here to the back, we're gonna look at another part of the adjustable suspension. Don't neglect the rear. At the back of the car, we've got these adjustable rear camber and toe brackets. You can see here, we've actually got a set installed on the car and we're preparing to get them aligned. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website at jetmotorsmini.com.